So in today's video, we are going to learn how to find the derivative of a function from first principles. Suppose that y is a function of x whose curve is what we see here. So this is the y axis and we also have the x axis. Now let's draw a line passing through the curve and creating two points on the curve. So we have this as point P and then we have this as point Q. Now from point P to the X axis, let's call this X. And from point Q to the X axis, it's a small distance from the coordinate X. Now let's call the distance between X and the new coordinate as H. So the distance from this point to this point is H. So the new coordinate becomes x plus h. Now from point P to the y axis, that is f of x. And from point Q to the y axis becomes f of x plus h. So from the graph, we have x1 to be x x2 to be x plus h we have y1 to be f of x and we have y2 to be f of x plus h now you recall that the slope or the gradient of a straight line is the change in y values divided by the change in the x values and this can be expressed as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now we have y2 as f of x plus h minus y1 which is f of x divided by we have x2 as x plus h and then x1 as x. So m equals change in y over change in x is equal to f of x plus h minus f of x divided by, we have positive x and negative x, so they both cancel out. And then we are left with h. So the derivative of f with respect to x, which is equal to the change in y over the change in x, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So using this formula, we are going to solve a number of examples. So from first principles, we are going to find the first derivative of the function y is equal to x squared and this happens to be our first question now we know that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h now let's write the expressions for f of x plus h and f of x so f of x is equal to x square and then f of x plus h is equal to now wherever we see x we are going to replace it by x plus h so we have x plus h all squared now let's expand this so we multiply x by itself that is x square x by h that is x h now h by x that is still x h and then h by itself h squared so we have x squared plus x h plus x h is 2 x h plus h squared so we are going to substitute this and this in here so we have f prime of x equals 
the limit as h approaches 0 of x square plus 2xh plus h square minus f of x which is x square divided by h now let's simplify we have the limit as h approaches 0 we have x square minus x square which is 0 so we are left with 2x h plus h square divided by h next we are going to factor out h so we have the limit as h approaches 0 now let's factor out h from the numerator so we have h into brackets now 2x h divided by h is 2x and then h squared divided by h is h divided by h so h cancels out h and then we are left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h and then we are going to substitute h equals 0 in here so that we have 2x plus 0 so we have f prime of x to be 2x so for y equals x square the first derivative of y is equal to 2x let's solve the next question so for this question we have y equals 3x squared minus 2x and we are going to find the first derivative of this function we know that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h now f of x is equal to y which is 3x squared minus 2x and f of x plus h is equal to 3 times x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h so we have 3 multiplying now let's expand what's in the bracket so we have x times itself which is x squared and then x times h which is x h plus h times x which is also x h plus h times itself that is h squared minus 2x negative 2 times x and then negative 2 times h negative 2h so let's distribute 3 across so we have 3x square plus now xh plus xh is 2xh so times 3 is 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h so next what we are going to do is we are going to substitute this and this into f prime of x so f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of 3x squared plus 6x h plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus f of x which is 3x squared minus 2x all divided by h So we have 3x square plus 6x each plus 3h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus now negative 1 times 3x squared is negative 3x squared and negative 1 times negative 2x is plus 2x all divided by each. So we have 3x squared, we have negative 3x squared. So they both cancel out. We have negative 2x and then positive 2x. They also cancel out. So we are left with 6x each plus 
3h squared minus 2h divided by h so this is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 now let's factor out h from the numerator so we have h into bracket now 6x h divided by h is 6x 3h squared divided by h is 3h and then negative 2h divided by h is negative 2 so we have that divided by h so h cancels out h and then we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 6x plus 3h minus 2 so we are going to substitute h equals 0 into this limit so f prime of x is equal to 6x plus 3 times 0 minus 2 so that we have f prime of x to be 6x minus 2 so the first derivative of y is equal to 6x minus 2 